Hello, 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 and welcome over here to the sweetest succulent channel you ever watched in history. Kind of like, what's sweet and succulent? Like a milky nipple. That's weird. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to tell you guys, my, uh, my white F250 is now for sale up here at the Google Warehouse. I'll leave Grant's number down below. Shoot him a text or call if you're in the Texas area and you guys are looking for an F250 that has had way too much work done on the front end. Uh, that's right. I put about $4,000. I've redone the entire front end. So if you want to give him a call, you can. I'm going to condense down into one truck. I'm going to get rid of the black truck and the white truck and condense down into one that I already have inside of my head. Oh, and the, that truck right there is also being given away. The winner has been announced and he's been contacted and they're going to come down and pick it up. But uh, Bucky did give me a call. He said, uh, Bucky's the guy who's doing my lake up there at the land. And he said there's, they've done a lot of, they've done a lot of improvements. So I'm going to go up there today, but I'm also going to grab some piping because I really would like to, I kind of want to test something. There's a bank that I'll show you guys on my lake that really doesn't have anything. It's just kind of like a little hole. That whole bank. And I really want to make these, these structures to see, I don't, we'll, we'll worry about that here in a sec. I've got to go let the panther no. Son of a What was I gonna say? I was trying to make a joke and now I just ruined it. The anaconda's gotta, gotta go. I get, f it. <laughs> What's broken now? Huh? What's broken now? Nothing. Does it look different? A little bit. A little bit different? Still looks like Dirt looks like dirt. Looks more like a dance. <laughs> like a dance. Uh, yeah, look how thick that is. Oh boy, that yeah, is. That's where I'm gonna put a house right there. That island's a little bit more of an island now. They're basically taking dirt away from this hill over here mm -hmm. and making the lake bigger by. They're literally moving dirt to here. So they're actually adding this is like the dam, right? Yeah. So they're adding like three acres to the lake because they're having to move that much dirt from over here. Oh yeah, look at that. They have scraped so much. This is all level. Look how big it's gonna be. You're talking oh, from over there to way up and around that corner. Last time I saw the uh... couldn't find your words there. Just kind of no, got... I couldn't find. Uh... I was like, man, I just couldn't see how this was gonna happen. Cause this is a lot of land. This is a, this is a big freaking lake. It's like, it's like... So at one point, at some point, we're gonna build our, the little boat ramp here. It's gonna be exactly come off here. This is where the old dam is gonna be. Now they're gonna come back through here. Holy, shit. what's up, wind? What's going on? Oh, nothing. I'm just gonna come through and fuck up your audio. Anyway, when they come back out here with the skips me what was it called excavator, excavator. i'm getting all my names mixed up let's try this again why is it always windy in oklahoma because texas blows no was it texas sucks and kansas blows yeah. all right so this is exactly where the um what's that called again Boat ramp, thank you so much. Boat ramp's gonna be coming off of here somewhere. They're gonna come back here with an excavator here towards the end of the job. We're gonna push down like trees, like say this tree and a bunch of those trees, cause you guys know the water level now is gonna be much, I'm not gonna say much higher, but it's gonna be a couple feet higher than what it was, which is not a, not a, not a big deal. We're just gonna have more water. But when they're gonna come back through, they're gonna peel off this old dam some, but we're gonna build a boat ramp right back over here. But this is the bank I was talking about right here. Basically between this tree and that tree is what I would call a just, a bank is what I normally would call it like I would skip on by it but why would I want to have any bank or like any area that's not good if I can actually make the structure myself but we're gonna try some today I got some PVC pipe I'm gonna grab I know this is crazy calm yourself calm your titties it's gonna be okay I've got plenty of rocks and stuff we're also gonna use but I kind of wanted to see if they will go to the PVC type structure just as much as they would um, trees and, and stuff like that which one they would actually prefer Thought I would do it since I'm actually able to do it. There's that. There's. Did I? Just... Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, we got, we got uh, two inch piping. <laughs> so I got these. I'm gonna go. We got four. Okay, basically I'm gonna cut these things in half. So I'm gonna take these things. I'm gonna come in half. I got two inch piping. Uh, usually I would go with like a. What was I using last time? Maybe a half inch. I think last time I tried to make them in buckets with concrete. This time I'm using two inch piping. We're gonna make them look like, kind of like an octopus. 
I will say it's it's slightly expensive to make two of these. It's like this is what this is when you guys are gonna think it's kind of stupid. It's probably like 80 bucks, which is really stupid. Each one of these things is like five bucks when I could just go over and grab a tree for free that we had pushed over. But I really wanted to test it out and just kind of give it a shot. Why not? If you're able to do it, why not do it? We're gonna make this super mathematical. Um, this is gonna be the halfway point. That looks good. Okay, okay that's pretty, that's, that's good. I'm doing these because some of you guys may have some ponds in, at your house. If you guys know some ponds you want to add some structure in, this might be a pretty good way to do it. Because honestly, with what, I, with what I'm about to do, it actually might, be that, might not be that bad. I've seen some of these kits online. They're selling them for this absolutely absurd prices. I saw one for like $700. It, was, it kept... Instagram almost got me some more ads. You guys have seen, I've, I bought some stuff off Instagram here recently. I bought this shit. Actually, you know, I'm not going to tell you what I bought. Because it's kind of embarrassing. So I'm not going to even say it out loud. Oh, oh, oh. I tried. <laughs> I tried to hurt. Give myself little purple rings. Dude, that stuff is solid. I think the cement got around the edge of it. Slide in. Uh, this is tough. <laughs> Make that an epic little thing it didn't break it's just like hey you again it's like here's 85 dollars Lake feels like some bitches are gonna float to the top. F me, <laughs> these things are never gonna get away from me.
find I wanted to see if you wanted to you asked me earlier how deep it was over there. Yeah. You should go take off your, your clothes and just walk down into the water and see how deep it really is. I think it's like five foot in that little crevasse. Oh, you know what? I'll do it if I ain't got no reason not to get butt naked. I'm not getting butt naked. I'm just saying. Look, you already got like a million point six. You know how many ladies are gonna flock to your channel if I take all this off? I'm just saying. When I was sitting there riding around on the thing, I was like, I, I'm realizing how big the son of a is gonna be when I'm trying to move like logs to areas that aren't gonna have, I wanna make sure that this thing has no wasted space. Are you sure you don't wanna go see how deep it is? I mean, you could be the first, you could be the first person to swim in this thing. Imagine that I'm gonna have my, I could get out here with like jet skis and just rip around my own little, my own little personal lake. All right, how much you give me if I go to that island? I'm not gonna give you any money. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. It is an actual island now. Just go out there. See if you could actually see if you actually have to swim across. Why is he trying to get me to do it? <laughs> Why are you wearing a sweatshirt? I wear a sweatshirt year round. I mean, it's most of it's because I got used to it for in storage units. So when it's all nasty, I don't take like bed bugs and stuff home. I just stay completely covered. What are you about to do? Move some more trees and rocks around? No, it's all right. It's getting already late enough. I just wanted to see how deep it was down over there. Which side are you trying to check? You just well, like you in see, general? Yeah, because the dam between the dam and the island. Like if you just walk straight out, kind of like Jesus did, except for you won't be able to walk on water, you'll probably sink. You don't. You don't know that. I'm pretty close to God, bro. <laughs> you are. Actually, you get you not 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 physically. Spiritually. That sounded terrible when you said it like. You're just close. I say a lot of things. Yeah, it didn't sound right. He said it's five foot deep? That's what he thinks. I wouldn't go off of that though. All right, so check it out guys. Rob is way over there moving rocks. He's doing the easy job. And he, for some reason he wants to know how deep it is here and he thinks I'm dumb enough to do it. So I'm probably gonna do it. So here's the dang deal. I don't have a change of clothes. Cam, you got extra clothes? I do not. Do you have an extra shirt? I'm thinking about just going like this. <laughs> Alright, I gotta let y'all in on a little secret. Y'all are gonna find out soon enough anyway. So I quit drinking a year and a half ago. I've lost 35 pounds before I started YouTube. These jeans are the only jeans I have left that fit that are not like hanging on me by this much. So, yes it is 80 degrees in Texas. Yes, I have a sweatshirt on and yes, I have wind pants on underneath these jeans because I wash them every two days. This is embarrassing, isn't it, Cam? <laughs> Would you be embarrassed telling this story? No. Nah, really. The way I figure is you get all your junk out there, nobody's got anything to hold over your head, right? Right. Amen. So here's what I'm thinking. I think maybe I'll keep the wind pants on, roll them up, and just walk. Would that be sufficient? Because yeah. if it gets past here, I don't think I'm going any further. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. All right, we'll do it. Uh, I don't want to mess up my Guggen blockers. If you haven't checked out the new Guggen blocker official commercial, it is at Grimes Finds at YouTube.com. That's not even the link, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, so check it out. Got to take these off. Oh, there he is. He's going to make fun of my wind pants, Cam. <laughs> he makes fun of everything about me. Why is he not going to make fun of my wind pants? Let's, see him do first. Let's take bets right now. You guys right now, okay? Leave a comment before you get to the next part of the video. Is he going to make fun of my wind pants when he finds out? All right, so we got to take the old pistol off. You first, buddy. Are you just going to walk out there? I'm just going to roll my stuff up and walk a little bit. Y'all ready? We should start over there. Got ready. Hey, deep. can I tell you something? Huh. So, I'm not going to tell you the whole story, but I got wind pants on underneath here. Wind pants? Yeah. Wind. Cover all my holes so my dingus don't hang out. Okay. Because look look how low that hole is. I know you're thinking like, hey, Justin, none's going to... You know what I mean? I was just going to tell you, if you walk on that side, it's probably a lot easier. Shallower? No, it's going to be deeper. Oh. You actually don't have to do this, but... You know you want me to. I want to see how deep it is over there. I know I can tell how deep Hey, Cam, is. right now, hold on. Can you block all the sound out and add sexy music? Yeah. You can? I can. All right, you ready? <laughs> sexy music intro, now. <laughs> Zipper got stuck, that wasn't sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Y'all ready? Huh? Two different socks on. That's how I roll, y'all. Hey, I'm a mess. Hey, check it out, though. If you get my butt cracked, you gotta blurb it out, okay? Yeah. I'm telling you, you do not want a flood of women to your channel. <laughs> That's even 
guy that's on the track right now. Huh? How oh, was Can you make it out to the island? I'm gonna try. Kind of moments where you're wondering what the f oh my this guy's in there this kid's in the, in the track <laughs> oh sh how you doing what the hell is grimes doing seriously he's like just swimming i don't know having a good time oh no there's no touching here at all yeah. hey no seriously i see how deep it is we did big things for your country today huh this is probably one of the weirder parts of any video i've ever filmed grown-ass man just hopped in the water to swim around yeah, Alright, well I just want to see how deep it was. We could have just stuck a pole down in there. <laughs> You're making me want to go Something. <laughs> oh, I got a big old mouthful of that water. It tastes like diesel oil, <laughs> dead fish, <laughs> golden berries. <laughs> Man, that's like foam. That ain't healthy. <laughs> Matthew Kendrick's on a phone call. He's using port. Who's that then? There's that. <laughs> I thought that. I thought the, the hitch was a little higher. <laughs> Kendrick! What? Baby. Listen, I got things to do. I ain't got time just to go get my car washed whenever I want. Like, 